Roche based in Basel, Switzerland. Its uh, core products include Valium, Dormicum, uh, sleeping pills. Exactly, and Tamiflu, which is the thing that's used for dealing with swine flu. And remember, it also controls Genentech, which it bought about six or seven years ago. It's a US-based company that uh, had active pharma ingredients, and that was a buyout for about $46 billion. Big corporation, Swiss-based, yes. Market cap, $214 billion. Price to earnings ratio of 22.9. Dividend yield here of 3.3%. So we're looking at all US dollar market caps, although Roche, as you might imagine, is principally listed in Switzerland, but it is available as an ADR traded in New York. Your thoughts, Gary? Yeah, Roche, definitely one of the, the bigger ones in the in the sector as well. Um, you know, looking at looking at Roche, I mean, it, it really also focuses a lot on the, the cancer type medication. Um, mm -hmm. To you know, one of one of the issues that we've got is patents are also very important in the industry, and, and you're actually coming up to a patent cliff in 2019. Normally, patent lasts 20 years, right? I exactly. So a lot of the older so a lot of uh, patents are expiring yeah, so, come so, 2019. Yeah. So just I'm going to have to refer because these these names are, are very complex. But yeah, Herceptin and Retic uh, Rituxan. 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 Yeah. yeah um, account for about 28% uh, of both the revenue. Cancer drugs, both yeah. cancer drugs. Both cancer drugs. And cancer really is, is kind of what you want mm. <laughs> if mm. you're a if you're a biotech company because uh, it, it's almost an annuity revenue stream rather than like a vaccine which is once off they're both coming off patent but they've already had FDA approval on two new drugs which is uh, Venclextra and uh, Tencentric um, now FDA approval is quite a, quite a complex process it can last you know two to Many seven years. years and having those approved they've just been approved now is, is incredibly positive for the for the, sh the share price because that almost guarantees that they're going to have pipeline drugs that come through later on and and obviously you need those so patents. They, they there won't be a stalling given the expiring of the patents that you've referred to. Exactly right, and that's and that's really what you, you need to. We're still looking at uh, probably only earnings and HEPs growth, you know, high single digits, but uh, you're not going to see a drop off in, in revenue, which is very encouraging. Very nice point. I like that thing about the pipeline. So there are phase one, phase two, phase three results. You'll see phase one is when the research labs internally come up with something they think is going to be useful. Phase two is when they actually try it on humans, and then phase three is when they roll it out in a big. Uh, test experiment using people that actually have the condition in a large group and then they see whether it actually has efficacy whether it actually produces better outcomes if you get through phase three and roughly only about 20 percent of drugs make it from phase one to phase three so the fall off is high then you have something which you can take to market with FDA can approval. we check That's in the on the US share price here yeah so you see Roche they're sort of rolling over a little bit um, it's Swiss, so that means it's got a high dividend tax, which is applicable. And because it's a very old company established, you know, like more than 150 years ago, it also makes certain diagnostic equipment. It has a few other bits and pieces. They invented vitamin C in the 1930s. They make but things what, what that are off patent. Gonna, what, I want to know what's going to ignite that share price. Are you these, these two new drugs that are coming into play? Yeah, it's possible. I that's mean, that's, the thing. Yeah, and that's, and that's really exactly, that's what, what gets uh, people excited about, uh, you know, biotech companies again. So there's another drug also called Ocrevus, which is for multiple sclerosis that's coming through too. Uh, and that, that really, I mean, it looks like it, it could be, you know, almost the, the, the standard uh, treatment, uh, you know, for, for that uh, condition. Hot or not, Gary, on, on Roche? I think it's, it is a little bit expensive at the moment. I mean, it has come off, which is nice. It does pay a good dividend, but as Paul says in Switzerland, you know, it, it's a little bit cheaper than the rest. Um, it's not a bad one to add, but I think, I think it's, it's... You're hesitant yeah, here. So you want to go I'm, not I'm, hot? I'm going to go not hot because I think there's more exciting Paul? in the sector. I'm going to go hot. I think the cancer focus mm -hmm. is a very good place to be because, uh, unfortunately, people aren't running out of having that. Do you own Roche in international portfolios? I've got one client date? that owns them. He found them himself. We don't own it or recommend it to clients.